Hello everyone, happy to see you here and really interesting algebra problem today. We have a to the x plus 2 to the x equal to 68 and we need to find from here our x. How can we do this? Of course, a lot of students can solve it by inspection, but in, in mass we are interested in the whole solution to this problem. We need to write on the, from the top to the bottom solution to this problem. A lot of students think this can solve it by inspection, but this is not our case. We need to solve it correctly and step by step. How can we solve it? First of all, I see this 2 and this 8. This is really great even numbers and moreover, this 8 is really great because you can write it as 2 cube, yeah? All raised to the power x and plus 2 to the x equal to equal to 68, yeah? So this is our first step. We write this 8 as 2 cube. And right now we need to know a really good rule. So the rule of interchange. If we have like a to the power b, raised to the power x, for example, we all know that we can easily write it as a to the power b times x, yeah? And I want to prove another rule. I want to write it as a to the power x times b and moreover we can write it as a to the power x raised to the power b, yeah? This is really interesting and important rule. So just learn this or remember this rule. And moreover, if we go right here from the left, this b was right here and it goes right here. So as a result, we can easily swap these two powers. And let's apply, apply this rule in this case. Yeah, so we can easily swap this. We will have like 2 to the x raised to the power cube plus 2 to the x equal to 68. Yeah, and right now take a look closely. We have 2 to the x and we have 2 to the x right here. So it's really good moment to apply a substitution. So let our 2 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with, with t. Yeah. So the main common letter right here, so t. Okay, and right now we will have like t cube, t cube plus right here t, t equal to 68. So this is our first step, this is our substitution. And right now it looks like cube equation because if we bring this 68 from the right hand side to the left hand side, we will have like t cube plus t minus 68 equal to zero, yeah? And right now, this is our cube equation. There are a lot of ways, there are a lot of approaches, how can we solve it, but I want to show you my approach and real quick, real quick approach. But of course, you can solve it in your own way, but I'll go with this one. So first of all, I'll find real quick factors of this, of this 68, yeah? So what about factors? Yeah, we all know, of course, plus minus we need to write. So plus minus one, plus minus two, we know that plus minus four, I know that I feel that 34 will be a factor and plus minus 68. So real quick, real quick factors. And right now let's try to check real quick, maybe the positive one. Let's start with positive one. So first one, so let's go with one, okay? What will have one cube plus one minus 68, yeah? So it's not equal to zero because we have zero on the right hand side. So it's not equal to zero. And we reject this, we reject this factor, yeah? Okay, let's go with next one. So we have two, so two cube plus two and minus 68. What about this factor? So eight plus two, 10 minus 68 is not equal to zero. So we reject this factor. Let's go next. Let's go with four, okay? So we have like four cube plus four and minus 68. What about this factor? What about this factor? So four cube, four times four, 16, 64 plus four, 68. And this is really great. So we find our factor. So t equal to four, so t first equal to four is a factor. This is really great, yeah? So we find a one factor. But what about in other parentheses? Because we know that when we factor t minus four from the first parentheses, there will be like expression in our second parentheses equal to zero. So we need to find this expression. And I, I show this method to my students. So I write this expression. So we have like t cube plus t and minus 68. And a lot of students ask me, how can we find another parenthesis when we know that four is one factor? I want to show you, show them a really interesting approach. So in your head, you know that you want to factor t minus four and you look to this expression. So under this expression, I write this one. So t cube, and then I explained why. So t cube minus four t square and plus four t square, yeah? Then minus 16 t and plus 17 t minus 68 equal to zero, okay? And then I write them this expression and tell them, okay, minus 40 square plus 40 square. This is equal to zero, yeah? So nothing changed for us. This is equal to zero. 
minus 16t plus 17t equal to t and minus 68 and right here t cube yeah and then I show them okay this expression is the same as right here in the beginning because this is equal to 0 this is equal to t and minus 68 so this is the same but I I I know in my head that I want to factor t minus 4 yeah so as a result let's group by two elements so this one so t cube minus 40 square let's group so this is first parenthesis plus 40 square with this 16t this is our second parenthesis and plus 17t minus 68 this is our third parenthesis yeah and right now take a look closely this element t cubed t square okay we can easily factor what we can factor t square yeah because when you factor it t square in parenthesis you will have like t minus 4 which is really good because we want to factor it later yeah plus 40 square 16 t okay it looks like we can easily factor 40 40 and in parentheses t minus 4 plus right here 1768 this is really great because we can easily factor this this i guess 17 yeah 17 and in parentheses t minus 4 and finally this is really great because we have like t minus 4 t minus 4 and t minus 4 and it will be our case because when we factor t minus 4 and we can it can factor it because this is our factor we find it and as a result from this element t square 4t plus 17 equal to 0 yeah and right now product equal to 0 so the first parenthesis is equal to 0 so t minus 4 equal to 0 from here t equal to 4 which is our factor so from here and from here we can easily prove that this is our factor and we have the second parenthesis of course second parenthesis need to be equal to 0 so t square plus 4t and plus 17 equal to 0 okay and let's start with this one let's try to solve it real quick maybe we'll have like two more real real number roots maybe we'll have like two complex roots who will see who know yeah let's try to find it but let's start with discriminant yeah let's find real quick our d yeah b square minus 4ac so 16 16 minus 4 times 1 times 17 yeah what about the answer so right here square root of i guess minus 52 yeah minus 52 moreover let's write it as square root of or not square root let's write it as i square root of 52 yeah so we can easily write it and right now we can easily say that right here we will have two complex roots but let's try to simplify it. let's try to find this t yeah maybe it's not hard and we find our x in a complex number yeah so let's write this 52 as square root of 4 times 13 and as a result we'll have like 2i square root of 13 this is our discriminant and let's plug in real quick to our t so t second and third equal to minus 4 minus b plus minus square root of 2i square root of 13 all over all over all over 2a yeah or oh, in our case we will have like 2 dividing both sides by by these two numerator and denominator so minus 2 plus minus i square root of 13 this is our t second and t third and if you want to know complex roots because we find it with x yeah you need to plug in this t, t second with a plus sign t third in the negative with the negative sign and you plug in to this answer so this is need to be equal to 2 to the x because we had a substitution and then you can find your x but this is really hard because we have like exponent expression right here i square root so it's really hard but we know that we need we will have like two complex complex roots so this is the answer if you're talking about complex roots but what about real number roots we have like t equal to 4 and t equal to 2 to the x so 2 to the x equal to 4 and 2 square equal to 4 we know it so x equal to 2 this is our answer if you're talking about real roots real real root yeah and right here two complex roots if you're interested in this of course you can easily find complex root but it's not necessary yeah because this is like a difficult part to solve this exponential equation with the minus 2 we bring this right here so try to try to find natural log on both sides this is like not good maybe it's it's easy one but i want you to to practice your natural log because this is log case yeah if you're talking about real root this is our answer 
So thank you so much for watching. If you still have any question, write a question in a comment. I try to help everyone. And thank you for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.